He's one of those rare players who's actually better than advertised. When you see him in person, it's like watching a reincarnation of Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, and Walt Clyde Frazier combined into one. The state of Texas boasts four of the five top scorers in the NBA, and the Dallas Mavericks have two of those, Jamal Mashburn and Jimmy Jackson. But the straw that really stirs this drink is the 21-year-old product from California, Jason Kidd. Coming at you from the defensive end of the court, his speed and agility is literally blinding, and he knows exactly what he wants to do. I think this is a learning experience for this Mavericks team this year. And I think at the same time, we're trying to show the fans that we are capable of playing hard throughout this whole season. Dallas picked Jason Kidd as the number two overall pick of this year's draft. And from day one, he brought direction to a Dallas offense that at times last year seemed unorganized. Off the court, he is quiet spoken, almost to the point of being shy. And he downplays his impact. Well, when you have uh, Jimmy and Jamal, and Popeye, I think that helps. And then with Coach Davis, who's been in this league for 15 years, I think I have uh, all the experience over there on the bench, and that's a plus, and they support me, and they, and they believe in me. So that gives me the confidence to go out there and play hard every night. Being a 6'4 guard has its advantages. Last night, Jason pulled down 10 boards against the Spurs, and he can shoot, too, as his nine points and this half-court buzzer beater shows. If you could pick one thing you wanted to work on the rest of the season to, to make it above 500 and into the playoffs, what would you think that would be? Well, um, as a team, just to uh, keep our confidence level high. I mean, we don't have anything to prove. Uh, nobody is uh, counting on us to win any ball game. So for us to go out there and relax because we don't have anything to prove, they feel that we're going to stay at the bottom. But at the same time, I think we're going to work extremely hard to get to the top. And I think we have a, a, a great group of guys here. And with Coach Mott, I think we're, we're building a, a, a dynasty here. The Mavs have a nucleus for what promises to be an exciting team for years to come. Tomorrow night, you'll meet the second of this Triple J tandem, a man who vowed to never play for Dallas. Now a man who's making game-winning shots on a routine basis. In San Antonio, Dave Johnson, Newswatch 10. It's not supposed to happen. A bunch of 20-year-old kids going into Mr. Robinson's neighborhood and withstanding a season-high performance from the Admiral, including this steal and jam with just seconds remaining. Then again, these aren't your ordinary 20-year-old kids. Last year's laughing sock of the NBA is this year's talk of the league, and the main input comes from three players who are barely old enough to legally buy a drink. And when you're that young, who says you can't come right back down the court? get in position for the game winner and nail the coffin shut right in front of a stunned Spurs home crowd. That's the type of year it's been for Jim Jackson. I feel confident that, uh, uh, that I can get that basket down low. Uh, we've been pretty much running it throughout the second half and my whole objective was to get the ball over David Robinson. I, I saw him double it. I drew the contact and I made the basket. The, the key part was that was just stepping up to the line and uh, hitting the free throw. As the fourth pick of the 1992 draft, Jackson has taken his game to a new level this year. He has started every Maverick game since signing and is in the top five in scoring. But with Jason Kidd and Jamal Mashburn as running mates, Jim doesn't have to be the man this year. Everybody's young, everybody's uh, willing to help each other out. Uh, it's not just Jason, Jamal, and Jimmy, it's uh, Popeye, it's Lorenzo, it's Doug. You know, it's a 12-man team that's uh, helping each other out. You know, a lot of the time, uh, the three of us get a lot of the credit, but I mean, a lot of dirty work goes to some other guys on the team that, that, don't, that don't get that notoriety. So, you know, we have to tip our hats to those guys if we continue to work hard all the time. Tomorrow night, another 22-year-old who left college early, a guy who has some of the quickest moves in the game, the Monster Mash, Jamal Mashburn. From San Antonio, Dave Johnson, Newswatch 10. They call him the Mash, the Monster Mash. And he is a monster on the court. In this, his second season in the NBA, Jamal Mashburn is raising more than a few eyebrows. He ranks in the top five in scoring with his cat-like reflexes and dominating power moves. 
We just go out there and play, so no one player looks to score all the time, and we have a lot of threats, and we can just keep on improving and get all these pieces together. I mean, we got a lot of draft picks and everything, so if we can just keep on improving, the future can be very bright for us. He's one of the three Jays, and along with Jason Kidd and Jim Jackson, make up the league's most potent threesome since Bird, McCall, and Parrish suited up. Heady stuff for a guy who started playing pro ball at the age of 20, but not enough to go to Jamal's head. What do you see as far as uh, the overall confidence factor of this team and the maturity level? Well, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves. I think, I think from last year, I mean, uh, we had to pick something that positive from last year since we went, so, so, went through so many bad times. So, I mean, uh, we're very confident, and we're just a, not really a cocky bunch, but we just have a lot of, feel we can do a lot of things. And Mash honed his skills at the same New York playground that produced the likes of Connie Hawkins and Dr. J. It's a comparison he shies away from. But if the shoe fits, we're looking at the big picture. I mean, uh, we just want to win and long as win and improve at the same time. So if we just happen to get in there, we'll just be a bunch of young guys just playing. Us. Don't know what's going on. Just going out there and playing, really. If the Mavs can keep the three Jays under contract, they should be a force for years to come. From San Antonio, Dave Johnson, News Watch 10.